Okay, good little girls, I'm gonna finally shave this off. Hope you guys are happy. I have, you know, I think this is hilarious because I have never, ever seen other men so invested in how a man looks than you guys with my beard. It's like it was an obsession. I kind of just wanted to keep it going because every video, you guys were obsessed with the beard. So let me talk a little bit about it. So if you saw my video on how to grow my beard with minoxidil and stuff like that, uh, I told you guys that I had stopped, and I did. But at the end, if you watched the whole video, I did say that I was contemplating of starting again because I did have some patches, this area and this area. So they weren't severe, but I had light patches, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to start or start again. So what happened was about a month after that, so in total I had about four to five months of growth, I ended up shaving it down. And you can see that in my how to groom an epic beard video. I'll have it linked here. At the end of the video, I shaved down my beard. So <clears throat> this beard, I wanna say has about two months of growth, maybe less. So it didn't have anywhere as near as much growth as, as the other beard had. All right, so this has about two months of growth and this is without minoxidil. So, I still have those patches that I talked about, so I kind of want to start again to fill those patches in. Now, the whole point of minoxidil is to turn your vellus hairs into terminal hairs. And after doing more research, I found out, or I was told, you can check out the Minox Beard Spot, they have a whole group on Facebook. But I was told that you had to do the process for six months, if not your hair starts shedding because they were still at the vellus hair stage. Interesting, didn't know that before, so I thought I would clear that out for you guys. And I think I did notice a little shedding. It's not a lot, it's not like I lost my beard, but I did, I think, lose a little bit of hair. But I mean, I'm not sure, it's only been two months of growth. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shave it down to like a shade, like a, just very low to the skin, and I'm gonna probably start minoxidil again just to fill in those patches. And I don't know if I'll let it grow out again or not, but just to make it more full, that's what I'm gonna do. So. Hope you guys are happy. Man, you guys, <laughs> you guys are rough, guys. So let's shave this off. I hope you guys are happy. It's gone. I'm just kidding. I was gonna do this anyways, but I don't know if I should. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't, I'm not gonna edge it out right now. It has a pretty good shape. Okay, so now I'm gonna go pick up the bro ham. I'm gonna go pick him up in his new house, and we're gonna go just do a day in the life today. So stay tuned. Okay, fair warning. If you do not like guns, do not watch the rest of this vlog. Do not watch the rest of this vlog. So, I don't wanna hear it afterwards, all right guys? As you guys, most of you guys know, we are pretty much gun enthusiasts. We do like it as a sport. So that's pretty much what our day in our life today will consist of. So I'm just gonna go pick up my brother. This guy has a crazy stash. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna show you guys his new house too. So he just bought a new house. Really excited for him. Really nice too. I, I, I love. I'm in love with this house. So I'm gonna go pick him up right now. And uh, yeah, we'll just probably go clay shooting today. And I'll show you a little bit of his uh, collection. I'm not gonna show you mine, but maybe I'll do that in another vlog. You ready? Ready as I'll be. You had a package at your door, man. 
What's up? Sorry for the for the mess, guys. He's moving, like I told you. He just got here. What is it, like a month already? Something like that? Two weeks? I don't know. Here's Juan. Hey, what's up, guys? So, we get the coolest things sent out to us all the time. And, well, you guys already know that. So, Juan, as you know, is running Gents Tech. Follow Gents Tech. Up here, wherever the link is, you can check that out. But this, I don't Ooh, think it's for you. Fuego Jack. box. We've been waiting for this thing to come in. Natural sunlight. Best type of lighting. It's not like your average, like it's not our content, so I'm not gonna make a video on it. But, Fuego box was like, we wanna send you out a box just for you guys to try out. And we've been waiting for this to come in. What do you got? I think this is the hottest one right here. Habanero peppers. Oh shoot. Do you have like chips or something though? No, I don't have anything. Um, you don't have anything at all? We can go have some lunch before we go shooting. Bro, you have bread. I'm not using bread. We can do bread. We're not using bread. We're Let's just... go have some tacos. No, Put no, it on no, some tacos. No, no, no. And do... I just, want, I just want to see what it tastes like. I just want to see what it tastes like. You're, you're, you're ridiculous. Stop. That's dumb. Stop, stop. Let's go have some tacos and use it. Nobody likes the crust. How old are you, five? <laughs> <laughs> the crust sucks. <laughs> That's the hottest one, I think. Actually, one we, can go have, an arrow. we can go have Chipotle if this tastes good. If this tastes good, I'm taking this into Chipotle. There's the one with habanero. Where are your knives? All the way back there. Okay, so we're gonna go with Spooky White. Do you wanna go super hot first and then tone down, or go with the ones that are mild? Let's go from mild to hottest. This is mild. Well, look at the ingredients. I'm a wimp when it comes to hot sauces, so if I start Crying a little bit. This, I think, like I said, this is the hottest. It has habanero. This one only has. Ooh, this one's strong, dude. Let's try this. This is only chili peppers, rosa chili peppers. Okay, a That's bit. it. That's all you're doing. Chillax, dude. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to ruin my day. My taste buds. Oh, this one has habanero too. Is it hot? I don't know. It's like when you're in that state that you don't know if it's... No, it's not hot. It's not hot. It has a It tastes good though. You barely put any. That's why. It tastes... It tastes really good. <clears throat> okay. You want to try this one? It tastes good, but... I don't know if I would say it's my favorite. Let me see if I have some. Oh, mother. I just caught myself. I'm going to go for the big boy. Check this out. Habanero hot sauce. See, this is how you do it. You grab it, you right. fill it with the toothpick with it. But that it. one's not hot. You'll be fine. It's not hot. It's not too bad. It's not bad. Damn it, guys. Look, you saw how I just slipped myself, right? Look at that. Damn. Time to stuff it up because I. Oh my god. I have blood everywhere. I have a first aid kit. Look at that. Good amount. This is the. Is this ghost pepper? Because it's ghost of no, ancho. I just saw the ingredients. It only has a banana. It smells strong. Dude. It smells a little barbecuey too. Yeah. Let's go for it. Man, do you have to freaking chew so loud? <laughs> See, this is how you do it. Oh my god, that's hot, dude. <laughs> Keep in mind, I think Tabasco sauce is hot. Definitely this. This is, oh my god. Okay, calm down. My dog, dude, my dog's on fire. It's not so This bad. one, I like these type of hot sauces where it gives like taste to the food in it. It doesn't like just overpower it with like spiciness. If I'm not wrong, I, like Fuego Box sent me like an email of how it works, but like they source these out from like all over the US. So they're like, what do you call that? Like um, niche? Hot sauces? Is it that? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, they're not like super popular. They're like these small little shops that create, like for example, have you ever heard of Lucky Dog Hot Sauce? Probably not. And this is the really good one. So they just like source these from like these little shops that create like gourmet hot sauces. So these, they taste really cool. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link below and see if you guys like it. But um, I wonder oh, what- This is pretty cool. They come, it comes with a little postcard. And it talks about each hot sauce and to try it on different things. Are you still hot? Mm-hmm. You ready to go? We're gonna be late, dude. Alright, let's go. 
But it's pretty cool. It comes with a postcard. Remember I told you I would show you his, uh, his collection? If you don't like guns, just tune out right now. Have ammo? Yeah. You want me to stop by anywhere? Yeah. I have some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk backwards because the lighting is favorable. You hear that? That's why you need a shotgun in your house. Just basic home defense. But you also needed to go clay shooting, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right. All right, Arnold. Chillax. <laughs> also, an Easter baby. <laughs> So we're gonna be going clay shooting today. Um, I'm a freaking expert marksman, so I don't know how it's gonna go favorable for him. You but uh, I always beat you. That's what we're gonna be doing today, so it should be pretty fun. By the way, the gun was unloaded before Juan did that little whatever. Um, I know some of you guys were talking about it, but we are very careful with that. You know, guns aren't you know toys or something to mess around with, but they can be fun. For example, when you go sport clay shooting and you go with a group of guys, it'll probably be the funnest thing you do. You know, is you just enjoy yourself and, or even go target practice. So it's really fun and obviously you have that sense of security. For me, that's all it is. And somebody asked me one day, why do I carry in my grocery haul? You saw that I was concealed carrying or at least some people noticed. And it's that, you know, I think the most basic human instinct is to protect yourself self-defense right no other mammal would rely their own protection or no other animal would rely their own protection to somebody else so for me it's not that I don't trust the cops I think they do a great job they're not gonna be there in 10 minutes when I'm getting assaulted or when I'm sitting through a terrorist attack I rather have protection in my own hands and it doesn't guarantee my life but it at least gives me a fighting chance. Is that that's all I could ask for? So that's really why I do it. But uh, you ready? So we're just gonna head over and to this really cool ranch and go clay shooting with some guys. Really fun stuff. Once you start shooting moving targets, you'll never go back. Right here, Jose. So now it's two one. Okay. Boy. Yeah. Oh. No, damn it. Six. That's right. Try at least tie. Because I run out of space. Oh. I know, me too, all the time, bro. Damn it. All right, you gotta stop. Yeah, cool, bro. He's hitting them right on it. What do we got? Six, right? Six. All right, you gotta stop right now. Stop this foolishness, son. It's it's the pink ammo for sure. I love it. <laughs> it's the pink no, ammo. No, for real though, that federal ammo is a lot better than the other. Really? One. Yeah. Two, one. Pull. Oh. Come on, Salo, Missy's two. Yeah, right, that's two. No, he's got five. Uh, oh, he's got two more. He's a winner so far. Hey! Woo! Seven out of eight. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I have to admit defeat. You know, even the best of champs, it happens to us. I was really good though. You saw that last that last round, six out of eight. I six won. Six out of eight. All right, that's it. And then, I don't know, the, the wind was in his favor or something and he miraculously got all eight discs in a row. That never happens. It was the windage, probably the shells separated in his favor, I don't know. But, uh, you know, you lose some, you win I'm some. I'm just a better marksman, that's it. I win a lot of times. You never lost, won. <laughs> I lost this one time. You've never won. <laughs> We've gone twice, all right? So it's not that bad. But um, yeah, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a really fun day. 
that's it for today's video. Also, don't forget to check out our second channel. Juan is doing a lot of the videos. Genstech. But I'm also doing videos on Genstech. You probably saw like two or three of mine in there. Um, you know, so second, check out our second channel. That's all about gear, technology, gadgets, all for men and just cool stuff for men. You know, so. And guns, if you're into guns. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are gonna hate you for that. But So, it would really help us out if you subscribe to our second channel. So that's it for today's video, guys. See you next time.